very good morning children in this video we are going to discuss about classification of teeth before that in last video we discussed some two question so you know uh, the primary kids mother was checking the absence of teeth in her daughter okay and she analyzed all the children of the class not having the teeth so what was the teeth i asked it is premolar many of you answer yes it is premolar children won't be having and second question i asked her what teeth will form for the adult in the sockets of molar milk teeth molar for that also answer is premolar only many of you answered very good children keep it up okay now let us discuss the classification of teeth in today's topic so we can classify the teeth based on the attachment it is called acrodont in acrodont if you see the socket is here and teeth is placed over on the crest attached over the crest so it can fall very immediately what not a strong connection we found in frog of course fishes these organisms then we have pleurodont so in pleurodont if you see this is socket and teeth is partially attached not fully attached partially only it is attached this is pleurodont so partially attached example reptiles so examples are very important children here and third one if you see it is called thecodont where the teeth are embedded inside the socket so you can see the socket is here and teeth are embedded inside okay so inside the socket it is embedded of course human so an example so these are the three classification we can do based on the attachment now we are going to classify based on the set of teeth monophyodont these organism will have only one set of teeth throughout their life they won't get uh, if it falls again once again uh, succession may not be possible in this organism so only one set of teeth example whales second one diphyodont where they have two set of teeth so you know milk teeth will be there till 6 years then it falls off again rejuvenate as a permanent teeth this is we can find it in humans polyphyodont they have a number of succession if the teeth falls off again it will rejuvenate falls of rejuvenate possible okay n number of time example of course frog now we are going to classify the teeth based on the cusp first one buonodon see in buonodon the cusp is somewhat blunt so it is not sharp it is a blunt cusp we can find okay so that is what the teeth structure blunt end we will be having example human so it may be used only for grinding and second one if you see solenodon in solenodon the cusp is somewhat crescent shape okay so you can find like half moon shape 
Like this, the blood end will be there. Of course, this most commonly you can find it in herbivorous animal like deer, rabbit, all these. Then we have cecodon. Where the cusp will be very sharp like a blade, very sharp, okay, like a blade. Of course, for carnivores like lion, tiger, all these animals, it will be like this children. And then, you know, based on, classification is based on shape. If all teeth are almost same, then we are considered that one as homodon. So, if you see the frog teeth, all teeth are like this triangle shape. No variation in shape. So, all teeth are identical. Example, frog. Heterodon. In this, variations are there. For example, you know, we have incisor, canine, premolar, molar, all these. So, example is human. So, example and type of uh, classification is possible question in this uh, particular video we discussed with children. Now, if you observe, we do not have premolar in our milk tea, but we are getting in adult. So, the gap is not existing. But if you see rabbit, they have incisor, they do not have canine, they have premolar only. So, the gap is present. Do you know what is the name of the gap present between incisor and premolar in rabbit children? Can you answer me in the comment box? We will discuss the answer in the next video. Thank you all. Please support me.